Ooh. Ah, his intention is probably to exchange sack. And then go uh, for d5. <laughs> so let's let's <laughs> let's play. Oh, but now he has. I, I just gave him knight e4. But it's not a, not a big deal. We have f5 still. So do we go f6 now? Let's go f6 and take on c3. Yeah, this is clearly winning. Yeah, we can decide between knight a2 and just knight d5 back. I mean, why not go knight a2? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, please don't go. Uh, don't go for these these uh, full comments. Just just ask something interesting. Okay, 95 here. What is his opening? He's playing so fast, but this is supposed to be very good for white. Right? Hmm, maybe he should even have taken it like this. It's supposed to be very good still. Hmm. Queen b3, then there's b5. So perhaps we should even start with a4 here, but then I'm giving him queen a5, it's not, so I'm not going to do that. Knight c4 isn't possible because this pawn is hanging. Yeah, b5 is an annoying uh, follow up. Next move. So perhaps we should take on c8. Let's do that. Yeah, it's taking back like this, of course. Still, Nazi four is not possible. Hmm. So let's start with this move. Maybe not B three now. Hmm. Okay, rook c1 is next at least. So this this is an interesting option for him. Ah. He's going to force these exchanges. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um okay, let's start with knight a5. So this will become an option. Can we go knight c6 here? I feel like we can. Once we get a boss pawn, then this, this is by no means a big, a big deal. Hmm. So let's go h3. Probably just, oh no, a4. Yeah, he's going knight f6 next, I assume. And then we cannot go really go a4. Although, yeah, it's fine still. We have queen c4 if he takes. He's so passive here. Queen takes e6 is next. Oh no, that's not next because then uh, 
C6 is hanging, but we can take on A4. Now Queen A6 is a possibility. Ah, but then he can still take there, so... I have to be a bit careful. Okay, but now we can take here, right? Still a fantastic position for, for, for white, of course. F5, you can just take. If he takes, then knight e5 becomes a threat as well. And if he doesn't take, we just <laughs> play queen a7 and we insist on uh, this exchange anyways. Hmm. I would love to have the bishop here, but yeah, that's that's not possible. If 5 b6 is coming, then we have to figure out how to make the last step. Do we have knight d8 as an option as well? Hmm. How to get in the final step? Okay, we have knight d8 and knight and bishop c6. I mean, I don't mind this at all. Ooh, this, yeah, they were smart. Good defending here from him. But okay. Okay, let's try this first. It has to be, it's, it's completely winning, of course. Nice. Wow. Very close game. Very close game there. <laughs> okay, we give him a rematch. <laughs> give us a very tough fight there. But uh, at least on the board uh, we were playing him, but time made it an extremely close one. So, yeah, I think this, this is one of those lines where you just have to need to have some knowledge in the opening and I think it's bishop, bishop f8 here already so this is one of the critical moves and after you know this move black is supposed to have the upper hand but <laughs> I'm not sure what to do here maybe I just ah perhaps I should have no I should have taken uh, on d4 last move <laughs> okay, okay let's play on like we <laughs> Like we didn't miss anything. Okay, what do we happen? Let's take here now. We have knight g4 now. That's an option. It's also very... Also seems a bit crazy. So, how's the material here? We are... Equal. <laughs> I thought we were up one pawn here. Okay, that's not great. So, let's take here and play queen d5 then. So we can activate our bishop. So we will have the bishop pair then. I mean, of, okay, he's not obliged to uh, take on c6, of course. But our rook is active on g2. <laughs> Perhaps that's something. Yeah, I should, should have taken on d4 yeah, and then uh, go bishop f8 on the next move. That's, that's the way to the advantages um, for black. Okay, now just bishop f5. So how worried am I about this? Then he, he is threatening bishop f1. Next move. So that means I'm kind of worried. It also means that knight g3 is just a good move. So what else can we do here? In order to complicate matters. What we can do is go for a move like bishop g4. Let's do that. If he goes knight g3, now we have bishop f3 threatening rook takes g3. <laughs> 
so it's, ah, he's going for knight f4 and stab, and then this actually turns out to trap my rook. That is a, a cold shower here. Very cold shower. Okay, <laughs> I mean we have to continue that once again, like nothing happened. Even our, though our position is terrible now, of course. Just back. Okay, let's move back here. As long as we can preserve our structure here, there will be something to fight for. Cannot really go bishop e2 still. Bishop f3 is then like, um, is, is, is I think a very uh, solid move to, to stay alive here. And now we can still answer with bishop e4. I just found a tricky solution here. Okay, but what is king g8? Or should we go queen king d7? Okay, let's go king d7. What it, ah, he's intending to take there next, yeah. Not much we can do about it unless we take there. So let's do that instead. Just king e6. Look, let's go king e6. It's more, <clears throat> now, <clears throat> now we are trying to take there. Finding some counter chances. Finding a lot of counter chances here, in fact. Okay, perhaps just bishop d7 still, because king d6 can be met. Ooh. He's running into slippery territory here. Bishop c2 is already an option, but we can also try to keep the pressure with... Okay, let's go bishop c2. Maybe there's still bishop c3 or e3 here for him. What is this? That's a surprise. Ooh, we have another tactic here. <laughs> Taking over. What? Ah, he's even winning an, an entire piece there. Wasn't even seeing that. <laughs> oh, what's rook c8 next? Nice. Okay, this this has to be completely winning now. Ooh, what a close game. <laughs> okay, let's go for the rematch. Managed to defend there from quite a hopeless situation. So our frustration is going for the Bango Gambit now. Oh, this is a nasty move. We have bishop b5 as a check. This is this now we are, he's basically no compensation. Or very little uh, compensation. Let's just castle. Go rook e1, bishop f4. Maybe even bishop g5, I don't know. So if we can. I have to decide between these two moves. Um, let's let's go over it. I'm hoping that there's, there's no um, punishment here. I can take on e7 here. Yeah, this this has to be very good. We should take these six. Should we take here immediately? <laughs> also, moves of knight e5. But we can go, yeah, we can take here and follow up at 95. Yeah, this is a disaster for him. <laughs> e3, uh, E3 is such a tricky setup against uh, the Benko. Many players actually qu uh, go quite quickly, uh, go astray after uh, in that setup. This is... <laughs> But he must be so frustrated. He was he was so close to winning the last two games, and now 
just got this disaster of a game. So now let's let's uh, correct ourselves and go for the for the right moves in the opening. So we're just going to take here. And now bishop f8. <laughs> so this 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 is actually the right move order for black. And it's supposed to give black a tiny advance. It's such a beautiful line because I'm I'm losing my queen here. Um what's the move here? There is a there is a line when White is going to sacrifice the queen. And then man, it's not this. Right, I, will, I will show it after the game because it's such a pretty line in the opening. Okay, should we go bishop d7 here or just c6? I mean, why not develop right? This looks by far the most logical. Ooh. Okay, maybe he should have gone c6. What is this? I can still queen d4, but then he takes on f6 and g4 would fall. Ooh, ay ay ay. Ay 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 ay. Okay, how can we make things tricky here? Yeah, I should have gone c6, apparently, last move. But that was such an ugly move that I, I didn't really want to consider it. So queen h4, okay, let's just take on g2. With a lack of a better alternative. So we will still have three pawns, but this position will clearly um, clearly be quite bad for, for us. Hmm, yeah, what should we do now? Kind of want to develop our uh, queen side here and get castled. Let's do this. Because rook f4, we have bishop takes c3. Making things complicated, okay. Hmm, maybe this is not the worst. Let's already take on d7. Could have taken on d2. Ooh, that was a... No, that was not... Po yeah, that was, that was a miss. That was would have been beautiful. Okay, still here we have some chances, but here in in a position like this, the piece should be way more valuable um, than the the three pawns. Okay, but let's see if if you can make another swindle happen here. Can go knight d5? Okay, let's go knight d5. If he takes... Ah, but he can... Yeah, this was my idea. He could have taken on g8 in between. Then we would have been lost. But this is but far from easy still. Okay, let's go c5. Try to push d4 as well. Oh, but he, he, we don't, did give him this. Yeah. Perhaps I should have started with... Um, ooh. But now, now our, our pawn center is so strong. Okay. It's very, very tricky now. <laughs> Chance for both sides, I would say. Yeah. This is an annoying move to meet. Follow the rook f1. Then now rook h1 or just rook c1. Just, let's go rook c1. So the only thing that matters is whether we can um, try to push forward. How's it going to defend from this? D2? <laughs> okay, 
Rook e8, king c7. Ah, he has rook d8 there. Oh, but then we have e2. Okay, let's start with e2. This, this is smart. This this was it was <laughs> wow. <laughs> so he dropped. <laughs> he, he went offline. <laughs> that, that, that was a real rage quit. <laughs> what a game once again. So um, <laughs> so rage quit after e2. Yeah, what he still can do is is go rook d8. We go king c7. He takes there. We take back. But that's a winning position for black. What well, what a crazy game this was. So I think one opportunity we missed was around. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he he of course missed opportunity here. If he just takes takes here on on g8, then we have to take back with the rook. And if he then takes on d5, we take back and f5 falls, and that should be an easy win for him. But it was one way of of making things interesting, and maybe here I even have to go for rook g8. But I feel like this gives more practical chances. But in this, this was a position that we had a great opportunity, I think. So what we can do is we can take on d2. And if he takes back, we have bishop takes c3 with check. And once he takes on c3, for instance with a king, then we pick up the bishop and we will get two pieces for um, for a rook. And after which we will only be an exchange down, down. So black will be completely fine, fine after that. And the crazy thing is that after rook takes c2, if he first tries to take on uh, d7, then the rook has the possibility to take back on d7. So that was, uh, <laughs> that would be an amazing tactic. Hey, uh, Akshat, good to, uh, good to have you here. So yeah, there's one thing that I just wanted to show and that was in this opening, what is, there's a crazy line. So I'm trying, I'm trying to remember how, how it goes. <laughs> yeah, you can you can definitely have a game. So, you just just have me an invite uh, three three plus zero, and uh, we can play. <laughs> so, um, what what is the move here? Perhaps just knight e two. Or even bishop e2. Okay, but there's a line where white sacrifices the queen for the rook here on h4. So if I go rook h4 next, I have to take back. And white sacrifices the queen and then goes g3. After which the black uh, queen is out of squares. So it's probably after the move bishop e2 indeed. Then. But um, yeah, if, if, you, if you want to have a game, uh, Akshat, you can uh, invite me now. We're also, um, otherwise I'm just going to start one more and you can invite me afterwards. Okay, so. I'm just going to play one more then instead. Ah, this is one of the most frustrating systems to play against. <laughs> I really hate this. Hmm, even playing it like this. Okay, let's go bishop d7. Hmm. Okay, we always have queen c7, right? You can just take here and go queen c7. Or does he want queen d3 here, or queen e3? It moves like knight f5. How is this? Okay, I tried to challenge its uh, center here. I'm not spotting any tactics yet. A b4, d4 stuff doesn't seem to work 
So let's instead and uh, make this normal move. I just find your uh, yeah, but, yeah, but please um, invite me for uh, tr three minutes plus zero. So, a any anybody can have a game, but I really love to play this um, this time control. Mm. A before is just staying back with his A pawn. F four is definitely a good move by him. We cannot really go knight a five because then we are losing this one. Mm, okay, I see. I see one interesting options. So let's take here first. And then we take on d four. And if he takes back with a pawn. Then we have knight f5, and a structure will come under pressure. And taking with the queen shouldn't be ideal either. Even, yeah, we can probably still go with the same idea, right? Take knight f5. You cannot go rook 81 because of knight e3. You cannot do this, so he have to has to give up. Um, he has to give up the a file here, basically. And then the end game should be alright. 